Welcome to the first episode of Plantland Gardening Guru. Now today we're going to run through a couple of questions that we receive during the month of May. And the first question is, do we still do gardening in the month of May? And the quick answer is yes. Why? Because May is the nature's best time for planting. Why do we say that? The reason for that is if you plant your plant now, you're going to give the roots some time to stabilize underneath the soil. And then because your plant is not focusing on producing new leaves and flowers this time of the year, so your plant will be um, giving you more flowers and leaves during the month of spring. So get to your garden, get to your nurseries and start gardening. The second question is, what do we plant in the month of May? Now, the month of May, we're starting to get in our varieties of pansies and our varieties of primulas. Now, your pansies is ideal for that sunny area in your garden where you want some perfect color for some guests that you're having um, at your house or in a pot at your patio or in front of your front door. Perfect plant for that. They grow about 20 centimeters high and 20 centimeters wide and they can um, flower for you until late spring if you give them the necessary attention and fertilizer. The second one is your primulas. Now your primulas is the ideal plant for that dull cold corner in your garden where this one gives you the perfect color for that dark area in your garden. Next up, we focus on our perennial plants. Now your perennial plants it, um, that we've got here is your pelargonium or the old name, the malfa. Now your malfas is ideal for this time of the year. They love the little bit of colder weather and they're really thriving in your nurseries and in the gardens at the moment. Very easy to care for. Um, you get them in a variety of colors. They grow about 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters big. You can plant them in your garden, use them as a filler plant in a pot, and you also get your um, creeping variety, which you can use in a hanging basket, which hangs over your pot just to give you some perfect color on your patios. And then last but not least is our Escalonia Pink L. Now Escalonia Pink L is a new variety of Escalonia, which is a more compact growing um, Escalonia, which gives you the perfect pink flowers from autumn to spring. And as you can see now, they're starting to flower now. And which Escalonia flowers during the month of winter? None of them. So this one is the perfect plant for a pot, or you can even use them as a hedging plant where you can make a beautiful hedge out of them. When you use them as a hedging plant, don't cut them too often. Wait for the flowers to finish flowering before you cut them again. Quick tip of the Escalonia Pink Owl is, as you can see, they are starting to flower now. Make sure you get them in your garden now before they start flowering in your garden. Because if you don't plant them now and you plant them while they've got a lot of flowers on, the chance of losing that flower is high. So get to your nursery, get them now and start planting. Then the other question that we have is, do we still give fertilizer? And the same answer applies to this. Yes, never stop giving fertilizer to your plants, whether it is winter, spring, summer or autumn. You never go without food. So why does your plants need to go without food? So today we're going to tell you the best fertilizer to use during the month of winter is Macro Home and Gardens Grow Best Liquid Fish Fertilizer. This fertilizer is extremely easy to use. You just dilute it 100 to uh, 1 to 100. This product is very high in nitrogen and in phosphorus, which means that it's going to start um, boosting your plant's leaves and flowers. It also has a lot of other components in like um, fats that is um, specially needed for your microorganisms in the soil. So it helps your plant to absorb all that fertilizer into the roots and then make your plant grow much vigorously in the springtime. Very easy to use. I used, I mixed them in this uh, watering can. So all we do is you just start fertilizing all your plants just from the top all the way down into the roots and then your roots will absorb the fertilizer. We hope you had a great time with us here on Plantland Gardening Guru. See you next time.